Now, as we have been reporting, speaking of boys and their toys, Toys R Us wants to go public. It's going to raise about $800 million. Ed Butowski is managing partner with Chapwood Investments. He is here to talk about the outlook for private equity and IPOs. And Ed, uh, it's a very interesting one because uh, it's a time when a lot of IPOs have had trouble. Uh, they have either had to cancel or uh, cut their prices. Why do you think the owners of Toys R Us, these private equity firms, are in such a, what looks like such a hurry to get rid of it? Well, that's exactly the question, Matt, is, you know, why is this company going public? There's got to be some reason, and, and I, don't, I don't really like the forecast and the outlook for any companies going public at this point. So if someone's trying to go public, you got to really read that perspective very, very closely because I have a feeling that you have to throw caution out there and really take a step back and read that prospectus as closely as possible. Uh, what do you think, who do you think some of the people behind this could be? Are you talking about powerful investment bankers, uh, people who have stakes in the fund here? I mean, maybe the company just needs liquidity? Well, I, th I think it could be a combination of all those. So it really breaks down to three different categories. You got to look at with the private equity firm and look down one step below them, which is their limited partners. Those limited partners want to get a liquidity event of some kind. Somebody out there is saying, we need to get some money. It's either the company that needs money and they can't get it by going to the traditional banking method or issuing some debt. At the same time, it could be a venture capital firm. Obviously, with Toys R Us, that's probably not the case. So somebody out there is saying, we need to take this company public. We need some money. And anytime someone needs something, I step back and say, I'm not so quick, I want to give you my money just yet. So I don't know the specifics on Toys R Us, but I'd be very cautious. You know, I wonder why they don't just sell debt. I mean, they, they say that they're selling shares to pay off debt, but it would seem to me in this kind of interest rate environment, selling debt may be a better option. It could be, but then maybe they've looked out there and said maybe nobody actually you know, wants to buy the debt because potentially, and again, I don't know the specifics on Toys R Us, but maybe they don't have the cash flow to take care of any debt that they want to issue. I mean, there's something here that in my mind doesn't smell right, and I would be very careful about it. I mean, let's also remember this, Matt. We're talking about an industry that is not very favorable right now. We're talking about the retail industry, and there's probably a lot of real estate involved with this company. So all those things together is not is not really a, a you know recipe that I am too excited about. Yeah, you know, I was going to say you, you continue to say you don't know the specifics on Toys R Us. Maybe you haven't studied the balance sheet per sh per se. Uh, but w mm -hmm. what do you think about uh, this retail environment, this market environment, and I mean buying toys in the beginning of the summer? Yeah, I I I, I, I look. The markets are going to come back. We're going through a little bit of a rough period right now. Markets are going to be significantly higher, in my mind, a year, two, and three years from now. And any company that wants to go public right now, I really am not that interested in them because I think there's something behind the curtain that scares me, and I don't know what it is. All right, Ed, thanks so much for joining us. Ed Butalski uh, there from Chapman Investments. We're going to take a quick